Okay, students, uh, please arrange your chairs and pick up some pieces of papers under your chairs. Okay, so uh, requesting everyone to please stand for our opening prayer. Okay, so requesting everyone to please stand for our prayer to be led to us by Catherine. Okay, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so good morning, class. Okay, take your seats. Okay, so this time we'll check your um, attendance. Okay, from this row, who are absent? Okay, very good. Nobody is absent. Oh, and how about this one? This group? Okay, very good. So nobody is absent for today. Okay, so class. So yesterday we discussed, what was our topic yesterday? Yes, Shalomé. Okay, very good. It's all about Philippines. Okay, how many islands are there in the Philippines? Yes, Clark. Okay, very good. There are 7,100 beautiful islands in the Philippines. So this afternoon class, I will show you a picture. And then you have to say something about it. Okay, so the first picture is Yes, Anape. Okay, very good. This is the Banawi Rice Terraces of Ibugao. Next. Yes, Alan. Okay, very good. This is a strawberry. Okay, next picture is Yes, Kevin. Okay, very good. They are the Ibugao tribe. I mean, Ibugao people. Okay. So the picture that I have shown to you, class, is relevant to our topic this afternoon. Okay, my question is, where can we find those pictures? Yes, Yelvis? Okay, very good. They are found in the province of Binget. So our topic for this afternoon is the province of Binget. But before that, here are the things that we are going to do. The first is to recognize the history, culture, and festival of Binget. The number two is discuss the history, culture, and festival of Binget. And lastly is to identify the fact about Binget. Okay. So class, I'd like you to group yourselves into four. And each group, I will assign you to discuss something about Binget. Okay, group one should be here. Group two should be here. Group four and group three and group four. Okay, are you done? Okay, so for group one, I will assign you to discuss the history of Binget. And for group two, you will discuss the culture of the province of Binget. And for group three, you will be assigned to discuss the festival of Binget. And for group four, you will be the one to recap the discussion of group one, group two, and group three. I will give you 10 minutes to do the task class, and after that, we will start the discussion. Okay, so 10 minutes is up. So let's start from group one. Okay, and while the group one is discussing, I want you guys to listen also so that you can get, uh, learn from group one and also for group two and at the same time group three and group four. 
Okay, so very good. The history of Minget is It is the lockdown and province of the Philippines located in the southern tip of the Cordillera administrative region in the island of Luzon and its capital is La Trinidad. We will hear group 2, um, the culture of Binguet. Okay, very good. So the culture of Binguet, for additional information, it is a Caldera administrative region. Um, it is a region in which they are rich in the ancient culture. So when we say ancient culture, it is a culture being practiced by the ancient people before. So this um, region is uh, rich in ancient culture because even up to now, they are still practicing the, the ancient culture. And example to that is what we call the mummification. So this one is what we call the mummification in which it is the process of preserving the body after death by deliberately um, dragging or embalming the flesh. So this is one of the culture being practiced by the people in the province of Binget. Okay, next for group 3, let's hear the festival of Binget. Okay, very good. So the festival of Binget is actually celebrated every 25th to March 6th of uh, every year. So this um, festival is what we call the Adivai, which is one of the famous or well-known festivals of the province of Binget. It is um, a festival in which they are focusing on rediscovering the rich history, culture, arts, trade, industries of Binget. So the very reason why the, uh, the people of Binget are celebrating this kind of festival is to uh, preserve the rich history, the culture, arts, trades, and industries of this province and transcend it to the next generation. Okay. Okay, next. For group four, let's hear them as they recap the discussion of group one, group two, and group three. Okay, good job, group four. So let's recap our discussion this after this morning. So the history of um, the province of Binguet is. It is a lockdown, landlocked province of the Philippines located in the southern um, tip of the Cordillera administrative region. So for the culture, the province of Binguet are practicing mummification or it, where the process of uh, preserving the body after death are done. For example, drying and embalming. So the, the last one is the festival, which is what we call the Abidai Festival, which is celebrated every 5th, 25th of um, the month of February until March 6th. And the very reason of celebrating this festival is to preserve the rich history, culture, arts, and industries of Binget. Okay, class, so for our guide questions, I have here two questions to be asked to you. Okay, so number one question. Why is it that the province of Binguet is called the salad bowl of the Philippines? Yes, Anna. Okay, excellent. It is because due to its huge production of 
The upland vegetables. Very good. Next question. It is the process of preserving the body after death by deliberately drying or embalming the flesh. Yes, I will. Very good. It is what we call, this is what we call mummification. Okay, so for our application class, um, we have here Miss Shella May to differentiate the culture being practiced in Binget and our culture here in Mindanao. Okay, so let's give five minutes to Shella May to discuss. Okay, very good. So, according to Shella May, the culture being practiced in Binget is what we call the mummification, which is the process of preserving the body by drying and embalming the flesh. While here, in our um, in Mindanao, we do not practice mummification. Instead, we are practicing a night vigil from 6 days up to 10 days. Okay, so class, is there any question? Okay, since there is no question, let's proceed to our short quiz. Okay, so get one fourth shield paper and number your paper from one to five only. Okay, so number one question is It is the city which is the tourist destination and it is uh, lo located in the province of Binguet. Okay, done? Okay, so number two it is a center of trade because of their industrial trade. Okay, so let's proceed to number three. Binget is called Blanc of the Philippines due to its huge production of the upland vegetables. Okay, number four. It is a process of preserving the body after death by deliberately drying or embalming the flesh. And last question is, it is a festival celebrated every 25th to February to March 6th of the year because this uh, festival's purpose is to rediscover the rich history, culture, arts, trades, and industries of Binget. Okay, everybody pass your papers here in front. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so exchange papers counterclockwise. One. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, right, corrected by. Okay, so number one, the answer is Baguio City. Okay, for number two, the answer is La 
Trinidad. Number three, salad bowl. Number four, we have mummification. And last is the Dubai Festival. Okay, write the score at the right side of the paper. Okay, done? Okay, please return the paper to the owner. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so who got perfect? Okay, very good. Okay, class, so since uh, all of you got the perfect score, let's proceed now to your assignment. Okay, so each of you will draw 10 things that you can see in the province of Binget and it will be submitted tomorrow, okay? okay? So that's all for today. Everybody stand. Good day, class. Okay, so see you tomorrow and God bless.